Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to boot from the CD or ISO when starting your Windows Server 2025 virtual machine, specifically in Microsoft Hyper-V. Before we get started with today's video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, we're gonna start in our Hyper-V Manager. So we've got a Windows Server 2025 virtual machine configured here. All right, guys, so the very first step once you've got your virtual machine selected is to make sure it's turned off. If it's still running, even though you might not be accessing it right now, you'll right click and just make sure it's off before we make any changes. Now with this selected, I will right click and let's go into our settings. The first thing we have to do is make sure that we have a DVD drive selected or an image file selected. So under my DVD drive here, we can see the DVD drive. This is a Windows Server 2025 ISO file. Just make sure that you have this. You might also find this under your SCSI controller, or you might have to add one. Now, if you don't see one, you can simply click add on your controller. And if you need to select one, you can always hit browse. And as we can see, I already have mine selected. But once we verify this step, let's go to the next step. Next up, let's go up to security. And this may or may not be available depending on your virtual machine generation. So in my case, it's not available. But if you see an option for secure boot here, we're going to remove that. Okay, and then the last thing is to go into the BIOS. And as we can see, it already says boot from CD. So in our startup order, we want the CD to be at the very top. In some cases, you might find it at the bottom. So move it all the way up to the top, hit apply, and then hit okay. All right, we just got a few more steps. Let's double click into our virtual machine. Let's go ahead and start it up. And as soon as we see some text from Windows, start clicking buttons on your keyboard. And that's going to activate our boot from CD. And we should see something like this, letting us know that we're in the Windows Server setup. We can click through the menu and continue on to whatever task we were wanting to do. All right, so here I could access things like repair my PC or install Windows Server. Uh, let's go ahead and shut this down for now. Now let's say that you're done with these options. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down and then I'll go back into my settings here. So I'll right click and hit settings. Let's go back to the boot. I'll move the CD all the way down. Oops, sorry, we gotta turn this off. Right click, turn off, settings, BIOS, move the CD all the way down, hit apply and okay. Let's launch this again. This time we're not gonna be hitting any buttons. And as we can see, we're back into our login screen. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we covered, feel free to drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If you have any specific suggestions of your own, we'd love to hear what those are. Most commented viewer video requests get made into actual videos on our channel. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support our channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.